restaurants are forced again to put a halt to in-person dining, but we have found several that are defying statewide orders. Inland Empire Bureau Chief Robert McMillan is live in Riverside, and he spoke to restaurant owners who say that they'll go out of business if they follow these new rules. Rob. Well, David, as we know, some businesses can stay open, like retail, capped at 20% capacity. But as you mentioned, restaurants, they need to go back to takeout only. But in reality, that's not entirely what's happening. Marla's Cochina and Cantina in Beaumont is closed today, not because of the pandemic, but because they're always closed on Mondays. But tomorrow, owner Diego Rose says they'll be open at 11 a.m. It's going to be business as usual for us. We, um, we have always been afforded the luxury of having the space to socially distance people. Rose says they try to sit most people in this part of the restaurant with roll-up doors that he calls an outdoor patio. He says if other businesses can stay open indoors, why should restaurants be told they can't open outdoors? A lot of our mom and pop shops have spent thousands and thousands of dollars to move their inside outside and have three walls or four walls in a tent, have people outside in a tent, and as you can tell in this wind, they've lost it all. They're losing around every turn, around every turn. And it's trying to be justified with some kind of a science, and yet I don't see any of that science. Throughout Riverside County, we saw several restaurants still open for business. One place in Corona is even serving people indoors right now. While some of the larger chains and corporations are following the orders, many of the mom and pop shops say going to takeout only would put them out of business. You're staying open? You know, it's a day by day thing, but we're staying open, man. You know, we've We've, we've gone past the point of no return. David Folds owns Crony Sports Grill in Agoura Hills. He's already gotten thousands of dollars in fines from L.A. County, but there's a rally of support planned at his location later on this evening. We are outdoors, and it is safe outdoors, uh, according to all science. And until you prove it different, we're staying open. So then there's the question of who's going to enforce the governor's order. Well, obviously, if you have a liquor license, the state alcohol beverage control can come in there and yank that license. But that's a state agency. So the rest of it's up to the individual county. Here in Riverside County, Sheriff Chad Bianco says he will not be enforcing the order. So then it goes to the Department of Environmental Services, and, or excuse me, Environmental Health. And a spokesperson tells me that they'll go out and try to educate businesses that are staying open, but at the end of the day, it would go to county council for enforcement or fines. And that spokesperson tells me that not at any point during the entire pandemic has Riverside County fined a restaurant for noncompliance. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.